Today we're going to talk about West Virginia quarterback Jarrett Dagey. He's going to be the next quarterback in our Big 12 quarterback series breakdown that we've been doing. And if you've missed the quarterbacks we've done so far, I just encourage you to go back to our uh, our YouTube channel and just check out the guys we've put out so far. We've got a few more left. But enough of that. Let's jump into Jarrett Dagey. We're going to watch some clips from the game against Baylor from 2020 because it does a good job of showing some things he does well, and it does a good job showing him battle through adversity. Through two interceptions, I believe that two fumbles as well, so four total turnovers. And he usually does a good job taking care of the football. For example, he threw four interceptions last year and, and only had interceptions in three games, two and one, and then had one in other games. Uh, so does a good job taking care of the football, had 14 touchdowns thrown last year, four interceptions. The thing that you want him to kind of focus on, it, it might not be so much his fault as opposed to the offense's fault because, yes, it's a spread. It's a lot of motion going on, but they don't push the ball downfield. His yards per attempt is under 7. I think it was 6.9 last year. So you usually like to see those uh, that number be over 7 for for quarterbacks, especially in today's day and age. And again, that's not all his fault. We, we're going to show him the film against Baylor. He does have the ability to push the ball downfield, has a good arm, and is accurate downfield when when called to do so. I, so, so I don't excuse me. So I don't know how much has to do with him and how much has to do with the offense as opposed to why the ball is not being pushed downfield as much as you know you, you might want to happen but at the same time they do a good job uh, getting drives going and keeping drives alive by taking what the defense gives you it's something that Jared, Jared Dagey does very well take what the defense gives you and you'll we'll see we're going to watch a few series um, and you're going to see when you take what the defense gives you it leads to touchdowns Eight, eight yards here, 10 yards there, first down there, at least a touchdown. So that's something that Dagey, Jarrett Dagey does very well, and the West Virginia offense is kind of designed to do. So when that's clicking, then you don't need to push the ball downfield. But at the same time, you might you kind of want to see the, the that open up a little bit. So we'll see what happens in 2021. But enough of me talking. Let's dive into some of the film from the game against Baylor. We're going to see a few series that are good examples of what happens when you take what the defense gives you. A few times of Deggy running the ball, uh, and then also Derry uh, Deggy throwing the ball, and we're going to see him push the ball downfield as well. Just kind of want to show an example uh, that he does have the ability to do that. So before we dive into the film, I want to encourage you to consider subscribing to our YouTube channel if you like any quarterback-related content. That's all the plugging I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and dive into the film of Deggy. So we have Deggy against the Blitz. It's about third and four here. We'll see the running back comes in motion here. It's third and four. He knows how much he needs. Here comes the blitzer. It gets picked up. He stands in the pocket. He knows he's got coverage here. This is a mismatch right here with the uh, running back running the out route. Nice, simple play. It picks up the first down. Gets inside the 15-ish yard line or so. We'll watch from this angle here. Good job by Deggy. Taking what the defense gives him and knowing how many yards he needs. Stands in the pocket. Gets by. Gets by this pressure. And he's throwing right here. Good job by Daggy. Nice and simple play that keeps the drive alive. So these two back-to-back -back plays by Daggy uh, show his intelligence and his ability to keep the drive alive. Only runs about what six, seven yards or so. So now it's a third and or second, third and three, third and two, whatever it may be. Here's the uh, end zone angle right here, second and ten. So not an athlete who's gonna you know outrun a DB or a linebacker, but uh, enough ability to pick up yards when needed, uh, but this the intelligence to know um, that those yards are there. Let's go ahead and pick them up. Same thing with this play here. Again, it's about th what, second and five or so. No one there. Rolls out, rolls out. Able to pick up the first down there. Watch from the other angle as well. Again, doing enough to keep the drive alive. Not an athlete who's going to burn you like we just mentioned. Good enough athlete, but just the intelligence and the ability to keep drives alive with his legs would need be. We'll watch this one more time. Of course, he's still looking to pass first. But again, these are back-to-back -back plays. Nothing fancy here. They just show up as like a five-yard gain, a six-yard gain in the box score. Uh, but drives that, uh, plays that keep drives alive. I believe this play is two plays after the, the, the plays we just watched. And you'll see just a nice, easy touchdown run. Good read by Deggy. Touchdown. Nice and simple one-yard run. But it's the plays prior that have led to this uh, touchdown here. Small, simple plays keep drives alive and lead to touchdowns. So here's a second and 15. Uh, we're going to watch back-to-back -back plays because they end up picking a first down. Picking up the first down on third down. But we're going to watch a nice gain here. Then they pick up a first down after. So we're going to watch how these two simple plays lead to first downs and keep drives alive. Again, take what the defense gives you. 
boom, take that. So again, second and 15, you pick up, what, eight, nine yards right off the bat. We're going to see Deggie with a good read here, sees the opening, backer stays in, boom, right there. Take what the defense gives you. The next play is going to be similar and take what the defense gives him uh, and ends up being a first down, I believe, out to the running back out of the backfield. You're going to see Baylor's going to blitz here. Backer blitz. Oop, didn't mean to pause it. But we see the running backs coming out here. And so that's actually his read. Um, and then simple play. Good job by Daggy, And that leads to a first down. So here's a great example of Deggie showing the ability to, one, push the ball downfield, do it accurately. It's a nice two ball, uh, which you all have heard me talk about this channel before, in between a, a rocket and a bomb. And we're going to see a, a good ball over the middle. It's dropped by the receiver, but it's good coverage, but a very accurate throw. Stands in the pocket. That would have been a big time. That was a big time throw in that situation. It would have been a big time play if completed. But again, it does show the ability that he does have if the offense calls for it. That's a tough throw. Coverage throws it to space, puts some air under so the receiver can go and get it. This is not ended up being caught, but good example of the ability he does have. Again, you see it is it was in the fourth quarter, with 47 seconds left, so that definitely calls for that type of throw. Uh, but just a good example there. So this is West Virginia's first drive in overtime, and we're gonna watch a few plays kind of back to back to back. We're gonna see Diggy's ability to let the play develop and throw a good ball, then another simple play, and then the touchdown throw throwing his guy open. We'll see him stand in the pocket here. Blitz is coming, stands in the pocket. Eyes downfield, hits his guy here. And then they are able to pick up the first down. Let's kind of fast forward. Boom, boom, boom. So here's a simple play coming up right here. Let's fast forward to it, fellas. Oh, missed it. So watch the end zone angle. Uh, just a nice dump off throw to the tight end that we see here, and the next play is the touchdown. But we'll see again a few simple plays that lead to touchdowns. Again, the ball travels only a few yards in the air, and they get down about the five ish yard line or so. This next play is a touchdown fade out to the wide receiver here. This shows his ability to throw his receiver open because good coverage. Good coverage. DB's not looking. Throw him open. Touchdown there. So a good example of you know several simple plays leading to touchdowns. So just a few clips of Daggy, but I think he did a good job of showing what happens when you play within West Virginia's offense. You take what the defense gives you. Even when he ran the ball, the defense gave him those yards, and he was able to pick up first downs, eventually lead to touchdowns. Now, you probably want to see the ball be pushed downfield a bit more, uh, but that's not for me to say, and we'll see what happens in the offense in 2021. But I think Daggy's got a lot of potential. He's a good quarterback, and he's able to kind of fit West Virginia's offensive system very well. And I like the fact that he had – three or four turnovers in those games and uh, in the Baylor game and stayed within himself and was able to lead his team to a victory. So let me know what you think about Diggy in the comments below. Do you like the offense? Do you not like the offense? Do you wish they pushed the ball downfield? Do you like them kind of playing conservative? Let me know your thoughts and we'll see you next time on our next quarterback related video.